Hi, this is Amy from the Altice store. I want to show you a close-up view of the Fronius Rapid Shutdown Boxes. Now, these are NEMA 4X rated, so they are designed to be outside in the area of your solar array. So what they do is they will communicate from the inverter, from your Fronius inverter, and they will get a signal from the inverter when the inverter shuts off to shut down the solar array. So um, National Electric Code 2014 and, and later requires that you, you have a way to remotely and quickly shut down the output of your solar array to protect firefighters who are responding to a fire. What will happen is when the firefighters arrive at the scene, they're going to shut off power to the house, which will automatically shut off your grid-tied inverter, which will send a signal to the rapid shutdown boxes to shut down. Now it's going to shut off the, the DC output from the, the box all the way in the conduit down to the inverter. It will not shut down the input. So from the solar panel to the input of the box, it's still going to be live. But it will provide a lot of protection for the firefighters because it's going to shut down everything between the box and the inverter. Now they've got two different models depending on the size of system you're using, the single and the multi. So we'll take a closer look at both of these. That's the single and this is the multi. So let's take a closer look. We've got our watertight glands here and so your plus and your minus from your string come in here and they're going to go to the connections down here and this is just a pass-through box, so you're not going to have any overcurrent protection, no combining or anything, because it is just one string. So it's just going to pass through to the wire that you provide for going out in conduit to the inverter. So you'll have your plus, your minus, your ground, and your signal wire. And that's going to send a signal from the inverter up to here. So that wire can be in the same conduit as your DC wire going down to the inverter. And that's just going to go in conduit, in through one of the knockouts in the either the Primo or the Galvo uh, Fronius inverter, and then will connect to the signal output of the of the inverter. It has a nice mounting bracket, so you very simply mount this to the rail of your solar array, and then you would mount the box to that and it gives you a real nice simple installation. Now if we look over at the multi, it can take up to four strings. It will combine it, them into two strings. So it'll take string one and two and combine them, and it'll take strings three and four and combine them. So that will send two combined strings down to the inverter. So you're going to have the, the uh, string separated so that you've got two strings each going into their own MPPT channel in the inverter. And then you'll also have your grounds and you'll have your signal wire. So again, that all can go in the same conduit down into the inverter and the DCs will connect down to the, the DC connecting area and your signal will go up to the communication area of the inverter. So very, very simple system. NEMA 4X, so it's very watertight. The Multi actually also has a manual disconnect switch. So you can manually disconnect the, the, um, the strings right up here at the box. The single does not have that. So again, when the grid goes out, the inverter turns off, turns off the DC power to the box, will still be live from the box to the solar array. So you want to have this mounted in the, in the boundary of the solar array. Uh, 2014 National Electric Code says that's within 10 feet. So it just gives you your rapid disconnect and makes your system safe for the firefighters and code compliant. I hope this was helpful. If so, give us a like and a share. And be sure to subscribe to our Alti Store channel so we'll notify you when we've got new videos coming out. And don't forget to go to our website at altistore.com, where we've been making renewable doable since 1999.